gravity. What is it? You can't see, smell, or touch it, but it's there. In fact, it's everywhere. Let's listen to the conversations of John Young and Charles Duke, Apollo 16 astronauts on the moon. Hey, John, this is perfect with the limb and the rover and you and, and the Stone Mountain and the old flag. Come on out here and give me a salute. Big Navy salute. Off the ground, one more. There we go. Ben. While gravity is the weakest of the four known basic forces in nature, including the nuclear, electromagnetic, and weak forces. The effects are the most far-reaching and dramatic. Gravity controls everything from the motion of the ocean tides to the expansion of the entire universe. Let's daydream for a moment and think what the gravity universe might be like. There would be no galaxies, no sun, no force to hold the Earth together or keep humans on its surface or retain the thin protective layer of atmosphere which allows us to breathe and protects us from the sun's dangerous ultraviolet rays. Gravity keeps it all together. In 2002, Two revolutionary NASA satellites will begin making the most precise measurements ever made of Earth's puzzling gravity fields. Gravity is due to mass and how far away that mass is, not the size of an object. For example, a container filled with rock has more mass and density than the same container filled with water. The distribution of mass, called density, on Earth is not uniform, making the force of gravity different everywhere. Gravity decreases as you move away from the center of the Earth making the pull or force of gravity different on top of a mountain than in a valley. Our sun has the greatest mass in our solar system and has a much greater gravitational pull than our Earth. The more the force of gravity pulls on an object, the more it weighs, making a 100-pound person on Earth weigh 2,800 pounds on the sun. To learn more about the effects of gravity, Twin satellites named GRACE, short for Gravity Recovery and Climate Experiment, are being readied for launch by NASA to measure Earth's gravity fields. This mission will provide a critical contribution to studies of the Earth's dynamic system and global climate change. The twin GRACE satellites will be launched by the three-stage rocket provided by the German Aerospace Center, the Deutsche Zentrum für Luft und Raumfahrt through its contractor Eurocket in 2002 from Plesetsk, Russia. With the GRACE launching, the worldwide scientific community will see the realization of an effort that began more than 30 years ago at a 1967 NASA conference. Thus, the GRACE mission is born. Its mission, provide measurement of the Earth's gravity field and its changes over time more accurately than has ever been accomplished before. GRACE will provide a picture of the gravity field for the entire Earth on a monthly basis for an extended mission life of at least five years, and it will look for month-to-month -month changes. GRACE data will lead to entirely new perspectives of the planet we call our home. Here is a view of Earth's gravity field. It is based on our best data today. In this image, white signifies high gravity strength, light blue is medium strength, while dark blue is low gravity strength. In Canada, above Hudson Bay, we see dark blue or low gravity strength. Heading westward to the upper middle of the Pacific Ocean, 
we see the Imperial Seamounts and the Hawaiian Chain of Islands in white, depicting high gravity on the ocean bottom. Continuing our gravity journey westward, we see dark blue and white joined side by side in the Island Arc Trench System. For example, the Mariana Islands and the trench near Guam signifying high and low gravity strength. The accuracy of Earth's gravity field measurements will be improved significantly with the new GRACE data. Just how accurate will GRACE gravity measurements be? Unprecedented. GRACE measurements of gravity will be at least 100 times more accurate than our current scientific data. For the first time, GRACE will measure tiny gravity changes with time due to the movement of water in the atmosphere ice caps, the oceans, and land aquifers. This overall measurement accuracy is key to GRACE's ability to globally probe the earth for soil moisture and aquifer change, critical to irrigation and agriculture. GRACE will also monitor change in the ocean bottom pressure and identify the mass change in polar ice caps. Our magnificent oceans. For the first time, oceanographers will be able to monitor the changing weight of the column of water, which yields information on hard to observe ocean bottom currents. By combining GRACE information with other satellite ocean observations, we can measure how fast the ocean surface currents move and in what direction. Once ocean currents are known, we can better understand how they transfer heat from the tropics to the higher latitudes, north or south, and how they change over time. The ocean provides about one half of the heat transport between the equator and the north and south poles, with the atmosphere carrying the other half. It is this heat transfer that largely controls Earth's climate. GRACE will also dramatically reduce the error intrinsic in current gravity field data for radar altimetry measurements of sea surface height, making data from missions such as Topex Poseidon and Jason-1 much more valuable. Another interesting issue GRACE will focus on is to improve our knowledge of the Earth's water cycle. The central questions are, where is the water? And how does it change phase between liquid, vapor, and solid ice? Soil moisture, groundwater, snow and ice, lake and river water, and vegetative water are the principal components of continental fresh water storage on Earth. The observation and understanding of global water storage and how it changes over time are poor at present. Continental water storage has a tremendous influence on Earth's weather and is fundamental to life on land. Surface and aquifer waters are also essential for power generation and irrigation. Since the water mass has a gravitational signal associated with it, GRACE will be able to monitor changes in the water mass by monitoring changes in the gravitational field. Of particular interest, GRACE will provide the first measurements of changes in the total mass of water stored in continental scale river basins and aquifers worldwide. Global warming, is it actually happening? Is global warming melting the ice sheets? What are the mass changes of ice at the Antarctic and Greenland? Is sea level rising? These are questions scientists hope will be answered by the gravity data provided by GRACE. GRACE measurements will provide critical information related to long-term sea level changes that could affect low coastal regions worldwide. These measurements will determine if sea level is rising due to heat storage in the oceans, or to additional water entering the ocean systems from melting of polar ice caps, or from land surface runoff. It is fair to say that when altitude and other scientific data provided by GRACE are used to constrain ocean circulation computer models, 
the computer model improvement will aid in forecasting currents and eddy motions. Agriculture. Long-range climate change. Water resource management. And the fishing industry. Liftoff. The twin gray spacecraft, weighing about 1,000 pounds each, will be launched in early 2002 from the Russian Cosmodrome, which is located near Plzetsk, about 500 miles north of Moscow. GRACE will enter a polar orbit about 310 miles above Earth. The twin satellites will fly in tandem about 125 miles apart, using a precise two-way radio to track the distance between them. This precision measuring technique will provide remarkably accurate data on the non-uniformities in the Earth's gravity field. The relative distance between the two satellites vary as they pass over the Earth. Mission operations for the five-year life expectancy of the GRACE mission is located at the German Space Operations Center in Oberpfaffenhofen. Prime tracking antennas are at Weilheim and Neustrelitz, Germany. The NASA Polar Ground Network provides critical support in the polar regions. GRACE is a joint program of NASA, the Deutsche Zentrum für Luft und Raumfahrt, the University of Texas Center for Space Research, the German Geoforschung Zentrum, and the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. GRACE is part of NASA's Earth Science Enterprise, using a fleet of satellites to study changes in Earth's global environment for the next 15 years in the new millennium. GRACE will revolutionize the way we look at our home planet, thus providing new benefits for six billion people living on a small, blue, beautiful island named Earth as it floats eternally in the silent sea of space. Since the dawn of time, history has shown that each time we explore a new frontier, there are some surprises, and each time we bring back more than we had hoped for. With grace, we have the chance to bring back more than we can possibly imagine.